Hello fellow Sun enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today I will be reviewing the documentary from HBO called Nothing Left Unsaid with Anderson Cooper and Gloria Vanderbilt. If you don't know, uh, Gloria Vanderbilt is Anderson Cooper's mother and she is from the long, very notorious and very famous Vanderbilt family. The Vanderbilts were one of New York's first very wealthy families. I believe they started with Cornelius Vanderbilt and the Real World line and they have the home in the Breakers, they have homes in New York, and they're just very, very wealthy family. And Gloria Vanderbilt was one of those prominent Vanderbilts. And this documentary talks about Gloria Vanderbilt. She's probably the most well-known out of the family members. And she came from two parents who really didn't care too much. Her mother was very, very young when she had Gloria and her father died when she was only a few months old. And from there, Gloria always had kind of looked for love. She wanted love from anyone because her mother wasn't around too much and her aunt who created the Whitney Museum was an artist and everything and actually fought for custody of Gloria because her mother just wasn't around and it just wasn't a very good situation when she was younger. I believe this was in 1935 that there was this famous custody case for her and her aunt Gertrude actually won custody of Gloria. What makes this documentary very interesting and really really good to watch is that it's Anderson Cooper interviewing his mother. We know Anderson Cooper from various media outlets reporting the news and he's very obviously it's a very intimate interview but you still get the sense that he's just interviewing another person that he would possibly interview on one of his shows that he does. And you know, you get a little bit more out of Gloria, obviously, but you also get to see a different side. You know, she's saying things more personally. There's really nothing that's held back. Because usually you can see when people are interviewed by others, somebody that they don't know, they're very held back. But because it's a son interviewing his mother and the mother answering the son's questions, there's really nothing that feels held back. You don't feel like she's hesitant to tell anything. But again, I think Anderson Cooper was asking questions you know, in a sensitive way, but asking the questions that he knows his mother would answer. He also asks his mother about her previous marriages. She was married quite a few times. She was married when she was 17 to this composer, I believe he was, and that didn't really work out well. Then she was married to another very famous composer after she had divorced. He was much, much older than her. I believe she was in her 20s. He was in his 60s, and they had two sons together and the one son from that marriage hasn't spoken to her since he was 22 years old and then she married Sidney Lumet, the famous director and then after that she married Anderson Cooper's father and then never got married again after he had died because she really loved him and you know it doesn't really show that she's had privileged life like most of these documentaries about these famous people like oh they've had such a privileged life they got to do this they got to do that instead it focused on Gloria Vanderbilt as a person as a mother as someone we could all relate to maybe we know in real life and I like that about this documentary a lot you know you don't feel so insignificant if that's the right way to put it when you're watching this you feel like you just know this person you know this woman and she could be your grandmother she's 92 years old still looks great still kicking still painting she paints she has a lot of great artworks she's still doing her thing still creating very very interesting pieces of art and showing them and that's someone that we all know in life, an older person we know in real life who does this stuff, who is a loving person and a loving grandmother, a loving mother. And that's what I really liked about this documentary, you know. I just love that fact that you could 
relate to Anderson Cooper and Gloria Vanderbilt because it wasn't talking about their money. Anderson Cooper was like, this is my mother, I love my mother, we've been through a lot and you know, she just wanted that loving relationship with someone. She wasn't a bad person and that shows that. She wasn't foolish with things and the reason I think she's lived to be 92 years old is because she's kept herself so busy with projects. If you know anything about fashion in the 80s, she created these Gloria Vanderbilt jeans that were very famous and very, very popular. And she gained a lot of attention too through her clothing design, her denim design and everything. And you know, that's what all this stuff has kept her going. And I think it's great that she's still doing this. That, all these things like she wrote a book with Anderson Cooper not that long ago I believe it's a newer book and I just love this documentary it has to be one of the best documentaries I have ever watched and I really hope you guys go watch nothing left unsaid because it really was very good if you're interested in documentaries if you're just interested in biographies or anything like that definitely go watch Nothing Left Unsaid with Gloria Vanderbilt and Anderson Cooper. If you liked my review or rambling of Nothing Left Unsaid, please give this a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. If you have seen Nothing Left Unsaid or if you just want to talk about Gloria Vanderbilt and or Anderson Cooper in some way, leave those there. And if you have any suggestions of what I should watch next, be them documentaries, movies, anything also leave those in the comments and if i pick what you have suggested and i watch it and i review it i will give you a shout out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future movie reviews because that is what i like to do here and as always keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous